Hello everyone, Tutu Mora here with The Why, bringing you tools to feel well in your body, mind, and spirit. So today we are going to be doing a post snow shoveling stretch as well as a pre snow shoveling warm up. So you can use this video both before and after you go to shovel snow outside. Here in Chicago, we have a lot of snow falling today, which is why we are here in my home instead of at the studio. So all you're gonna need today is a foam roller as well as a can of soup. So if you don't have a foam roller, that's okay. You can always use a broom or a mop handle, anything that's gonna give you um, length to keep the chest open. So as we work, you know, see what tool works best for you that you have in your home. And so we're just gonna start standing here. You can use a mat or not. I'm gonna have my foam roller handy. And we're gonna start by doing a roll down here. And so I'm gonna turn to the side so you can better see my body. And finding a uh, comfortable hip distance apart width for your feet, we're just gonna start by tucking that chin and articulating down the spine, keeping a soft bend through the knees, and of course stopping wherever you feel any tension or tightness. taking it to your range and bending the knees as you stack all the way back up. We're going to take this again, tucking the chin, articulating down, noticing how that spine is feeling. And stacking all the way back up. Now from here, Again, having that foam roller handy, we're just going to start to find a little rotation. So letting your knees be loose, shoulders loose, let's just take a little twist here. Keeping it gentle and easy to start. We wanna make sure that everything feels warm before we go out and begin to shovel snow. So, just finding where your body is at right now and we'll let that range of motion increase as we move. So we're just going to take a couple more here, loose little twists. And then we're going to grab our foam roller, allowing it to, you know, be about over shoulder distance apart. So we want one hand on each end, elbows out, and making sure that you feel nice and open through the chest, shoulders are down. And we're just gonna continue that twist, allowing your feet to move with you so they can, you know, just be comfortable to support this twist. But twisting while keeping that chest nice and open. One more time to each side. And then we're gonna take this on a diagonal. Let's hold on this next diagonal, breathing here. And taking that to the other side, breathing here. One more time to each side. And staying with that foam roller, keeping your chest open, we're going to again tuck that chin, articulate down, letting that roller come with you, bending the knees, stacking all the way back up, and that roller is going to come up, shoulders stay down, roller floats up towards the ceiling, step back a little bit, and lowering again. Tucking that chin, articulating down. Last one. Now, as you uh, take that roller down, let's practice just hinging at those hips, keeping a flat back. 
as you take that roller down. So things to think about, especially when you're shoveling, is having a bend through the knees instead of arching your back. So let's have that bend in the knees, sitting back into your sit bones as you take that roller down, up. Let's take that one more time. And then you can set that roller aside. Last thing we're gonna do for your warm up, I'm gonna tilt my screen down so you can see my feet. We're gonna bring those feet together, bend through the knees. You can rest your hands just uh, along your thighs there. All right. And find an equal inside outside pressure of the feet, and we're just gonna start to rotate around the ankles here. Especially when wearing heavy shoes, they can leave little room for ankle mobility. So we're just gonna warm up those ankles. Which can also be helpful in just injury prevention, fall prevention. We'll take a couple in this reverse direction here. All right, so you can stand back up. I would invite you to pause this video and um, you can come back to it. This second half is going to be our post snow shoveling stretch. So once you're back, you can set your mat up. We're gonna once again, grab the foam roller and you're gonna lay it to the side. Now to start, we're gonna come onto hands and knees here, wrists directly beneath the shoulders, knees directly beneath the hips, and we're just going to take a little bit of a cat-cow here. So I'll come up a little bit so you can see. All right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of a pelvic tilt and let that lead me up into my cat pose. Nice deep breath there. Again, starting from that pelvis to take you into your arched back cow pose. Let's take just a couple more here, almost like a little massage for your spine. Two more sets. Last time here. And we're gonna take just a tiny little pelvic curl and allow that to float back into a child's pose. Just reaching forward, giving that low back a nice stretch, breathing into that low back. You can take your hand to one side, other hand over that, giving yourself a stretch through that side of the body before taking it to the other side. Deep breath and back to center. We're gonna come back onto all fours here, bringing that roller to the side and what we're going to do is have that opposite hand come through and we're just going to take a little rotation stretch here with the roller just taking it to your range we'll take it two more times here And then we'll take that roller to the other side.
and we'll take that diagonal. Just little rotation. Taking it right out to the side two more times. Coming all the way back up, you can grab your soup, your can of soup, and find a comfortable seated position. And we're just going to spend one or two minutes massaging the bottom of the feet. And so allowing your whole foot to find a connection to the soup can, we're just going to roll it out, roll it back. You can steady that can of soup with your hands, but just finding that nice pressure of your foot into the soup can and letting yourself find a little massage from your heel to your toes, lingering perhaps just a roll out of any spots that feel particularly tight. And then you can move on to the other side. So you hold it steady, find a connection with all of your toe knuckles here. And just starting to roll out, taking it to that heel and back. Again, allowing yourself to stop with any uh, point that feels particularly tight or tense. And you can just spend a little more time there rolling out any spots of tension that may have happened while you stabilize in the snow. And so just taking it back and forth here. When you're done, you can let that soup can go. We'll finish standing up. And so we're just going to take those arms out to the side and take a little side bend, letting your feet just feel nice and flat on the floor. One more time to each side. And you can rest. All right, so I hope you feel a little bit looser, ready to go on with your day, and I'll see you back here next time on the WISE YouTube channel. Take care.